Hey everybody, this is uh, just a quick little video I made um, to address the issue of the crank based power meter with a direct mount behind the bottom bracket brake compatibility issues which Pioneer stages, uh, it's a common issue and one uh, decided to try this uh, experiment with this Bontrager speed stop aero type brake there which uh, it's not really designed to be a behind the bottom bracket brake, but figured I'd give it a try because it definitely offers more clearance there. It doesn't really stick out any wider than the frame. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, this particular bike is one of the, it's the previous generation Madone, uh, not the super aero version that they're making nowadays. So, um, but, you know, we've... Um, had some Colnagos and some other bikes that are similar, similar design there. So um, this particular brake, it's uh, it it kind of it's it's got the mounting holes in the frame for a direct mount, but this particular I think it's an older Bontrager brake and it uses a center bolt and then the the one side bolt there on the drive side. So went ahead and just removed this one and uh, the. Uh, the new Bontrager brake basically just bolts straight up into the the ex, you know existing location. There was a little plug there in the uh, the non-drive side, and so basically just pulled that out and put it into the uh, middle middle bolt that I wouldn't be using there. And that's just something unique to this frame. So yeah, I just stuck the the new one on here and. Um, the old speed stop brake caliper there. Uh, one little tip, a uh, little issue I had ran into, or a couple minor issues, nothing too major, but um, with the brake mounted upside down like this, it's definitely easy to work on the bike with it upside down, but you may want to pre-route the uh, inner wire through the, the caliper before you set it upside down like that, because there's a little plate that sandwiches between the, uh, the little uh, pinch bolt or pinch you know screw that pushes down against this little plate and then sandwiches it between the plate and the caliper and with it upside down like that and the and the bolt loose that little plate can just kind of fall right out so probably easiest to uh, just giving you a little quick tip there route the wire and maybe just snug it down like I have right here then bolt it up and then you can um, tinker with the brake pads uh, so yeah, you know, it's also a lot easier if you have the, you know, not totally necessary, but if you remove the crank and the wheels, you know, if you're putting the power meter on, you're going to have that at least one side off anyway, so it's not really a huge deal. Uh, so one little minor issue I had here, well, this is another thing. Use the uh, lowest profile pad housing you can get in ideally one with the the bolt going through the bottom so it's easier to access get the brake pads off if you're swapping wheels so anyway went right on got everything cleared out and the only other really thing I had to do I kind of notched the back side of the brake pad there because it just wanted to hit the the inside edge of the frame I mean the, this frame is such a tight clearance of you can't really get any brake pads and everything all together in there so just did a little minor uh, shave off the corner of that brake pad and a little bit off the housing of the uh, brake pad holder and that worked out really nice so yeah that's basically it maybe this video will be helpful to somebody that's run into this issue or has already purchased the power meter and kind of committed at this point so thanks for watching